In this video we're going to learn how to use a machine learning image classifier to get the computer to tell us what is in the photo. So for example here's a picture of a toucan and the computer thinks it's a toucan with a 0.47 or 47 percent confidence level and its second guess is goldfinch with a 1 percent confidence level. So the computer thinks it's a toucan and we can feed in a different picture here Here's a great gray owl, and the computer thinks it's a great gray owl with a 78% uh, confidence level. So the computer is very confident this is a great gray owl. And we'll just try one more. Here's a picture of a lynx, Canadian lynx. The computer thinks uh, there is a 20% chance that it is a lynx with a 6% chance it is a cute, uh, cougar, but it still guessed it was a lynx. So let's just look at the image classifier first. If we go to image net, image uh, net.org and I just click the download button here we'll just see uh, what this, this this what this is made of it says this data set spans a thousand object classes what does that mean this ml5 library is on github and if I look at the uh, program here that means it this uh, algorithm has learned a thousand different things starting from tench goldfish great white shark and on and on and it's not just animals here if we look here there's chain chain link fence CD player castle snorkel snowmobile and the last thing is toilet tissue toilet paper so so how how is this machine learning model learned these thousand different things so this model uses supervised learning so what does supervised learning mean it means they feed it data and they tell the computer what that data is by labeling it. So for example, if we wanted this model to learn what a dog was, we would give it an image of a dog and then label it a dog. So the computer knew it was a dog. And then we would feed it a different picture of a dog and tell it it was a dog. And then a different picture of a dog and tell it it was a dog. And so on and so on and so on. So we would give a bunch of different images of a dog to the computer and tell them they were all dogs. And then to test it, we would feed it a different image of a dog that the computer has not seen before and see if the computer could tell us if it was a dog. And then we would give it a picture that is not a dog, maybe a picture of a cat. And we would feed it in the computer and see if the computer could tell it was not a dog. And that's how we would train the computer. We would give it labeled data so, so the computer know, knew what those things were and it could compare this new picture that is not seen before with these other with these other things eh? and it could tell us how confident the computer was uh, in their prediction so that is supervised learning in a nutshell label data is fed into the computer so we have a thousand different things and pictures of a thousand different things were fed into it and we're just going to see how well it does okay so to do this project we don't need too much we need a javascript editor uh, I'm going to show you the P5 online editor uh, just because you don't have to install anything and if you're on a school computer that'll be good for you. Uh, we're going to need the P5 uh, add-on for JavaScript and the ML5 JavaScript add-on and some images. We'll need some website addresses of some images to feed into this model. So what should we do first? We should open the P5 editor so if you just Google P5 online editor, this is an editor we can use online. If you have, if you have your own editor at home, like uh, VS Code or Sublime or whatever, Atom, uh, you can use that and follow along. Uh, by default, uh, the sketch JavaScript file will be started in the window and there'll be an arrow here. I'm gonna click that and there'll be three files on the left hand side. The first file is index.html. It's an HTML file, like a web page file. And here we have some script files that are loaded. Our, our P5 JavaScript library is already loaded here, so we don't have to do that, but we do have to load in ML5 library. So I'm just going to make a space for that here. And to do that, we need to go to ml5 so let's just google ml5 here we go ml5.js click there uh, click here click on getting started 
Now you can explore this. There's stuff to look at and read about and find out about. I'm not going to show you here. I'm just going to show you the stuff for this video. If you scroll down, there's some text to get started. It says Quick Start Plain JavaScript. And this is in the HTML section, and that's what we want. We want this script command. The script command is a command that will load in the ML5 library into, into our editor. So we need to copy this, right click copy, or just hit control um, C, and we'll go back to our editor, and then we'll paste it in here, just hit control uh, V. And now our the ML5 library will be loaded into our editor and we can use it. And that's all we're going to do on this HTML file. We don't need to do anything more with that, so we're done with that. The style.css is just a, a Cascade Style Sheets file just to format the page. We're not going to do anything with that. The only thing we're going to work on now is the sketch.js file. So click on that and then click on this arrow to close this menu because we don't need to look at it again. And I'm just going to get rid of this default code just to get rid of it and we'll start coding this machine learning image classifier right on. Okay, so I'm going to put in comments with all the, with the, all the coding uh, so for uh, image classifier model. So that's what the classifier is for and then the IMG variable that's where the web address of the image will be stored in that variable. Okay, so I'm just letting the computer know we're using these two variables. Okay, so now I have a, a preload function. It says function preload. And we have two things in here. So I'm just telling the computer that this variable, the classifier variable, will be equal to the ML5 image classifier object. That's the object uh, that we passed into this model. And the model that it's using is called mobile net. So it's going to use this a model. It's going to pull it off the internet and put it into the image classifier and that's what's going to process that image. Okay. And then we have the variable image is equal to load image. We're going to load an image uh, into that variable between these quotes. I don't have any pictures ready here but I'll just show you where we can get a picture. In fact let's do it right now. A good place to get free pictures is the Creative Commons images. Just Google that and we can browse for any you, any picture you want. I'm going to put hot dog and oh, see I'm going to try this. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> but I should right click the photo and go copy image address and put it into the code here right in the quotes. Put you the, the address of whatever image uh, you're going to use in there. Okay, so I've made a new function called setup, and there's three lines in here, so let's look at them. Create canvas uh, 640 comma 480. So it's going to create a canvas to put stuff into, so it'll be 640 pixels wide and 480 pixels high. So we call that the canvas in HTML. Uh, so, and then we're going to pass the image into the classifier to be classified by this um, algorithm. And, and once that's done, we're going to run the function or call the function got result. Okay, and that's what this classifier.classify. Classify is the command. This classifier is that variable that we started in the beginning here uh, that we tied into this model, mobile net. So this classify executes the, the this image. We're passing the image into this classifier to be classified and the results will be passed into into this function when it's done. And then we're going to post the image onto the canvas and fit the height and width of the canvas. Yeah, so the picture won't be too big or too small. The picture will just be will just be posted into this canvas. Now, what happens when it's got the result? When it's got the result, it's going to pass this into the got result function. So we have to make that up. So function so what values are we going to use there? Error and results. So we have to uh, decide what's going to happen when there's an error, what to do with the results. So display error. So if there's some type of error, if there's an error, if there's an error, we're just going to console log that out. Console log error. Okay. Oop, and there's three R's there. That is too many. 
So there's an, <laughs> there's an error in the error. <laughs> All right. We're going to console log the results. So let's just see what happens now when it runs here after we're console log the results. So I'm just going to bring up the console here. Ah, so the results are in an array. That's what these square brackets mean. Array is just in a list of objects. Uh, so let's click the arrow, object one, object two, object three. So, so you'll see the first item is item zero. And then the first uh, category here is label. And then inside that label, it's called kimono. So it actually thinks this hot dog is a kimono. The second item here is confidence, and the confidence level is 17% or 0.17. So there's a seven. Computer thinks there's a 17% chance there is this is a kimono. So when we display the results, we need to display the, the the first item. The first item is zero. The second item is one. See, there's a 8% chance that this is a cowboy boot, and then this item two is the third item. And it thinks it's a punching bag, a 7% chance of that, so or 7% confidence interval. So, so we need to know the la the number, the first position, the label. This is the category here, and the confidence. That is the category uh, there. So we need to know those things. So that's that's why we'll be using them in this next section of code. So we're going to create a div element to place those items in there. So you're going to need a back tick. Back tick is on the top left corner of your keyboard below the escape key. So the category is label. This dollar sign and curly brackets are just a way to display the stuff or the information in the HTML page. So it says results, results, and then the square bracket is zero. That's the first item, and we're going to display the label. What, what label did the computer put on this object? What did they call it? And then we're going to uh, round the confidence to two decimal places. Because otherwise it'll be like a 10-digit number, and it just goes on and on and on. So here's our next bit of code. The first label was kimono. So that's what should go in here. O just means it's the first item, object zero. And then we're going to pull the confidence level and round it to two decimal places. That's what this two here is for, this last two. So we're creating a div element to put that in, confidence colon, and then we're putting the number in here and rounding it off to two decimal places. There it is below the picture. Kimono, that was the first uh, label and confidence level 0.17 or 17 percent good good so we're going to put in the second choice just because sometimes uh, the first two choices are very uh, close to each other we're going to do the the first item which is zero and then we're going to use the exact same code except we're going to change it to the second item so we're just going to put a one in these brackets so you know what i'm just going to copy this v there we go and i'm just going to change the zero in the square bracket parentheses and square brackets to one. That is the second item. So it'll play the second item and the second confidence level. Just gonna save it and then run it. There we go. So 17% confidence level it's kimono and the computer thinks there's an eight percent chance it's it could be a cowboy boot. Maybe it's looking at these sneakers, I'm not sure. So that's how we can use JavaScript to tie in an online machine learning image classifier. We can just feed in a photo into this classifier and call it to classify and then we can take the results and and put it into the web page um, wherever we want. In this case it's uh, below the photo.